Hey guys, and welcome back to LEGO Master 627's Creation. So today it is Monday, October 14th, 2024. And today we're going to be creating the 2023 Skyscraper for Soa's Lab 2. First though, we do need to see which cat we get today. Nope, we already got him last time. Let's try that again. Winter, that's more like it. Because yeah, we already got stripes in the last episode, I clearly remember. Because when I spawned into the world, he was with me. Now, much like the last skyscraper, I'm going to build all the walls and floors off camera and then build all the challenges on camera. Just so we don't waste too much time. So, I will be right back. Alright, I have now implemented all floors and walls for this video. Meaning all four rooms. Now, let that the challenges. Actually, before I do, this is what they look like. They actually look really cool. And this is actually going to be a bit different compared to the Zola's Lab 2 counterpart. This entrance never technically existed. Because normally the entrance to get out of there is like right here. However, we're actually going to be changing things up this time around. And instead... This elevator actually is going to be going all the way to the top. So things will be slightly altered. And yeah, now you may also notice that we have up here as well. And that's really cool. And lastly but not least, we have up here. Very, very cool. Now, let's implement the challenges. For real this time. The first challenge was implementing a ghost fiend room into the lab. Because the first challenge required us to become ghosts back in the Halloween party 2023. Which actually is not a lie. That actually was a real thing that was implemented in the original party. Which meant we needed to go through walls specifically to get through the room. Which can explain why I'm adding a ton of walls right now. Because that's exactly what the challenge was. It was a ton of walls. Get through the walls and you were good. No, literally, guys, I'm not kidding. That was actually the challenge back in the day. And see? There's footage to prove I'm not lying. See? I told you. I'm actually being serious about all of this. Like, it's all true. And these are all real things that actually happened in the original party. Because it's all legit. I have all the proof to prove it. And... Yep, that can explain why there is a ton of walls coming in all at once. Just making sure, okay, cool. And we're pretty much already done with the first challenge already. Yep, that freaking quick. And done. Yep, we're already done with the first challenge. Oh, this one's probably going to be the most difficult one of them all. <laughs> funny how you can see all the Lab of Doom 2016 creations from here. That's freaking funny. In actual seriousness, let's do this. This is what it looked like. Oh, God. Okay, first of all, we're going to need this. It's actually really crazy. And then... Huh, interesting. Interesting. So there was like a gate blocking this, or at least fence is blocking this. At least that's what this footage says. Dang, this is gonna take a while. This might even be the longest one of them all. And I honestly don't know how to feel about that. Let's do it anyway. Because, well, we have to do it eventually. I can't have this held off forever. <laughs> yeah, I can't have this held off forever, so I have to do it at some point. But that's only just the fence itself. Dang, we got it right. Man, I'm good. Now comes the hard part. Oh, God. So now we got to place pumpkins around here. Now, specifically, they go in random spots. Specifically right here. Then we got another one right here. Then another one right here, and right here, and lastly but not least, right here. That's all of them. Now time for the hard part, the roller coaster itself. Oh god. 
I do know parts of it go right here, specifically, because that's where I saw the pumpkin was placed. So, yeah. In fact, actually, I saw pieces of it right here. Specifically meaning that we're actually getting rather close. So, yeah. Then we got some right over here as well. Oh, and actually these go right here. Then we got two pieces uh, right up here. Then we got some pieces over here, which just for the record, look like that. Oh, wait, <laughs> there's uh, an extra one right there. And then there's some like right over here, as we can clearly see. Then we got some specifically right here. Wait, I did that wrong. It is actually this. There we go. Then there are three more blocks placed right there. Then we got another three blocks placed right there. Then we got another few blocks uh, specifically placed uh, right there. Well, actually, I just remembered it's actually right here. My bad, guys. Only just remembered that now. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Oh, that doesn't look right, though. I think there's supposed to be an orange one there, but... Oh, well! At this point, I may as well just implement all the tracks at this point. Which, I do know exactly what I'm doing, by the way. For all of you go asking. I know exactly what I'm doing. Trust me. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing here. <laughs> Wait for it. There we go. And then implement all of this. Go down here. Implement that. Implement all of that. And then we're going to have to direct this for a second. There we go. Remove that. And then do that. And that, and we should be all set. Well, actually, now we're all set. Outside of, of course, having to, of course, place some torches to obviously direct the path itself. Thing is, though, I did get a few of these wrong, so there we go. These issues are now thankfully fixed. And now the room is officially done. Well, except for that. I re-implemented that now. Now we get to this room. And yes, I'm well aware that it's midnight. This room was a spooky forest maze. Let's implement that. And I can assure you this will not take as long as the previous room. In fact, these are actually getting easier as we go through them. The one we just did was the longest one. In fact, I've actually kind of already started myself. As you can see, I'm already beginning to implement these myself. So, you're welcome, by the way. I'm already getting some of the work done. Myself. This is actually really cool. So, we're not here all night, just to clarify. Because I don't want to be here all night. That would be boring. And also really lame. If we were here all night. Which, at this point, it's already midnight. So, yeah, we kind of are. But, that's fine. With all that being said, though, and in mind, if we do get some of this wrong, that is completely fine. The point is, we are meant to get some of this correct anyway. So, with all that being said, there's not too much else to say. There we go. Now, thankfully, a lot of these do take place on the edges of each wall, meaning this shouldn't take long to do, mainly because these are mostly done on the edge of the walls, as follows as what you are currently seeing. Most of these are done on the edges of the walls, which means that's why I'm able to implement these really freaking quick. 
Now, if this weren't the case, we would be here way longer. But as you can see, we're going at a much faster pace than the previous room because of how much more easier it is to implement. But I can assure you though, we're almost done. We actually are almost done. Because there's not too much left here. In fact, most of the trees here are on the edge of the walls, while some of them are actually in the middle of the room. And I can confirm that is all the ones on the edges of the wall. Now we need to see the middle one. Now, judging by what I just saw, apparently these are actually bigger than I thought. So, in the meantime, I did also figure out where the rest of these go, actually. So, that's cool. I actually did figure out where the rest of these do go. Which is actually really good on my end. Because now I know exactly what to do. I actually got these wrong when looking at the footage. That is clearly my fault. As I had absolutely no idea what I was doing for some reason. But don't worry though. Like I said, I managed to find out which ones go in the middle. Which is actually very, very easy. And yeah, with all that being said, there's not much else to say. Other than, let's do the middle ones now, shall we? Now that we've done that, let's do the middle. Like I said though, these shouldn't take long. Now I know there's mainly fences around here. However, for right now, I'm not going to implement them. That I can just do off camera later. If I remember, of course. Because that's another thing. I get a better hope that I actually do remember that. Otherwise, yeah, this will be a complete fail. But just know, though, this is actually not taking as long as I thought, actually, like I stated earlier. There we go. So, there we go. So, yeah. Nice. Alright, and I think we're actually done with the room. Okay, maybe not, but I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. It's already midnight at this point, and I just want to get to the last room. Speaking of which, this is actually gonna probably be the easiest one, which is what you're seeing on screen right now. Yeah. I told ya. I've also now added a staircase to this, making our way up to the room. And that's where we jump into this, the last room of this overall project. What we need to find, though, is the skull painting. Because this is exactly what we're going to need because first of all, literally guys, I'm not even kidding. This is literally the last one we are going to need to find. As first off, oh, yep, this one. What? Whoops, wrong one. That's the one we're looking for. Now that we have the painting in our hand, we should be able to implement these around the room, which actually is extremely easy, considering we just have to place them in between the lights. And hey, what do you know? We're already done with the entire room. That was really quick. And that is the end of the 2023 skyscraper. But guys, I'm not kidding. That's it. We're done. We are officially done with the 2023 skyscraper. It is officially midnight now, but that is completely fine. I had a pretty busy day in real life anyway, so I kind of expected that. Um, with all that being said, guys, though, I will see you all in the next episode on Monday, October 21st, where we're going to be touring the Halloween event for 2024 in Lego Master 627's creation. By the way, I did actually use this shovel to dig out all of the grass in order to make the floor in the first room. The same also could be said with last week's one. With all that being said though, we still got one more to create. But that's not going to be for another two episodes. Because we got a Halloween event to showcase now in the next one. See you then!